how are you today? Today we have a tutorial. We are going to be doing the cotton candy cardigan and uh, this is this is going to be a beginner friendly kind of um, tutorial. I hope. That's my hopes. And I'm hoping that this stand that I have the camera on isn't going to bounce up and down too much. Um, I'm hoping. <laughs> I'll be very upset if it if it does. I just have to not touch the desk too much. And we'll see how it goes. Okay. So what you're going to need is the yarn of your choice. But this is what I'm going to be using. I'm going to be using the Karen Latte Cake in the color Marooned. Okay. And I'm going to be using the Loops and Threads Soft Classic Acrylic in white. Okay. All right. Um, this pattern or this tutorial is basically going to be double V stitches, but not what you might think. They're big V stitches and there's little V stitches. The multiple count for this is threes. All right, so what you're going to do before we do anything is you are going to measure from one shoulder all the way over to the other on your back. Okay, and you're going to get that measurement. And then you're going to count by threes, chain by threes, until you get close to that measurement. If you're, if you're off a little bit, it's okay, but just remember that when you are doing this tutorial it is going to grow okay it's going to grow so you want to get the measurement between your shoulder blades and you're going to want the measurement between your your neck and down your back to where you want this to go okay because this pattern is not done from shoulder to shoulder it's done from neck to butt or, or longer. Okay. But you're going to need that other measurement to know how wide your panel is going to be. All right. So right now, all you need to know is from your neck down, how long do you want your, your panel? Keeping in mind that this is going to grow exponentially. All right. So give it about, I don't know, an inch to an inch and a half, maybe even two inches leeway. All right. I'm going to be doing 102 stitches or, or, or chains. Okay. Um, and that is going to grow quite a bit. All right. Oh, the dog needs to go out to go to the bathroom. I will be right back. Okay. So I've actually finished my back panel. I'm going to be doing the side panel with you, but it's the same. It's the exact same concept. So, whoops, I'm moving the camera. Sorry. Um, it's exactly the same. It's just a different stitch count. So, but so my back panel is actually 34 inches. I'm not sure what that is in centimeters, although I could probably look. It's like 80 six or something centimeters you don't need to do yours that long okay um but that's how long i'm doing it and this is going to end up i think it's probably going to be a small um small to medium sized cardigan okay so don't forget like you're doing this lengthways from your shoulder or from your neck down all right, so measure how long you want it and bring it, bringing that back about an inch and, uh, and that will be your count. Okay, then you're going to count by threes as to the chain that you need. All right, so you're going to take your yarn whichever if you're doing it all in one color yarn it doesn't matter if you're doing it like i am <clears throat> where there's two different colors 
choose which color you want to be your first color. All right, I'm using a eight millimeter hook. I'm gonna bring you guys in, there we go. I'm using an eight millimeter hook. All right, okay, so, so then when, once you have your figure out your length, then you're gonna chain by threes, one, two, three. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, etc. Until you get to the length that you need it. And I'll be back when we're done. Okay, you're going to go fit for the fifth stitch from the hook. One, two, three, four, five. And you're going to do a double crochet. chain one and then you're going to go right back into that stitch and do another double crochet and that's your first V stitch plus a double crochet on the side okay now you're going to do every three stitches one two three in the third stitch you're going to do another V stitch if I can get my hook in there one two three I hate doing the first chain. Ugh, drives me crazy. Okay, one double crochet, chain one, and then go back into that stitch. And, oh, I'm sorry. My dog is just being a pain in the butt right now. I don't know if that means George is home or not. <laughs> and then you're going to count one, two, three, and do another double crochet stitch. And chain one go back in the same stitch and do a double crochet okay you're gonna keep doing that all the way to the end until you have three stitches no four stitches I think it's four stitches till the end okay and I will see you when you get there okay now I have four stitches till the end so I'm going to count my one, two, three. I'm going to do my V stitch in that one stitch. And then in the last stitch, you're going to do a double crochet. And that will finish it off. Okay. So you want to have a double crochet on one end at the very end. That's going to be your chain. And then you're going to want to double crochet at this end. Okay, you're going to chain two. You're going to turn your work. Okay. Now what you're going to do is your little V stitches. And you're going to go in between the spaces, not in the V stitches, but in between the spaces. So in that first space between before your V, you're going to do a single crochet okay you're gonna skip over your V stitch and go into the next space you're gonna do a single crochet chain one go back in where that stitch is and do another single crochet okay so now you've got a little V stitch on this side and you've got a little V stitch on this side now you're going to skip over the next V stitch right here and you're going to go into the space beside the V stitch. Go in, do a single crochet, chain one, and go back in where you did that single crochet and do another one. Okay, skip over the next V stitch, go into that space, single crochet, chain one, go back in single crochet all right so now you've got your little v stitches in between the big v stitches you're going to do that all the way to the end and i'll see you there okay we're at the last v stitch okay skip over this v stitch go into that last space do a single crochet and a chain 
And now this is where you're going to bring in your next color. Okay. So all this pattern is, is a two row repeat. Okay. And of course I did not take the middle out of my cake. Hold on. Okay. Now this might be a little hard for you to see because my next um, skein or my next color is almost, well, it's a very, very light pink. So it's going to be a little hard to decipher which one of these is which in the beginning. But okay, so what you're going to do is you're going to go into that top stitch right here or the top chain space. You're going to pull up as if you were doing your single crochet. You're going to take your other yarn and pull it through. Okay. Tighten that up a little bit. And then you're going to chain three. Okay. Now, because this is latte cake, I like to knot this because I don't want it to slip undone. Holy Hannah. There's cats all over this, this neighborhood, so Bailey's constantly in distress. <laughs> okay. So after you do your chain two, you're going to turn your work. You're going to take your your one yarn, your other color, and you're just going to put it off to the side to get it out of your way. All right. Now it's just a re just a repeat. Hold that thought, please. Okay, let's see if we can get through this without her going bananas again. All right. So you're going to go, where are we here? You're going to go into your big V stitches now. Skip this whole row that you just finished doing. <clears throat> and you're going to go <clears throat> back into your big V stitches. Okay, so you're going to yarn over, go down here, and do a double crochet. Don't do them really tight. Chain one. Yarn over, go back into that v, big V stitch and do a double crochet. Okay. So you're doing your big V stitches are going to be going into the V stitches on the big, big V stitches on the bottom. Okay. So you go into the next V stitch, double crochet, chain one, go back in, double crochet. Okay, yarn over, go into the next big V stitch, double crochet, chain one, go back in, and double crochet. Okay, go into your next big V stitch, double crochet, chain one, go back in, double crochet. Okay. You see that? Okay, and that's what you're going to do all the way to the end. And I will see you when you're done. Okay, so I've got one V-stitch left. So I'm going to go in and I'm going to do my V-stitch. Chain one, double crochet. And then in that last stitch, right over here, right here, you're going to do your last double crochet. Okay. Then you're going to chain two and turn your work. By this time, you're going to be able to see how much your chain has grown. All right. So if you find, now don't forget, the sweater's not going this way when you wear it. It's going this way. Okay. Let me bring you out a bit. Okay, so it's going to be like, this is the length. All right, so put it up to your shoulder or your neck and measure it all the way down and make sure that that's the length that you want it to be. Okay, if it's too long, then you're going to have to start again and get it to like, just count by threes and see um, how many you're going to need. Okay.
So, yeah. All right. So the next row is our our mini our mini what do you call them? V stitches. Whoops. Put you in a little too much there. Okay. All right. So you've changed your two. You're going to go into that first space right there and do your single crochet. Skip over your V stitch and go in between and do your single crochet, chain one, go back in, single crochet, okay, skip your V, oops, sorry, skip your V stitch, go into this space, single crochet, chain one, single crochet, skip your V, go into this space, See how repetitive it is? Okay, it's just a two row repeat now. Okay, so you're just gonna go in, do your little V's, and go all the way across. Make sure you're going in between the big V's, not, not in the big V's. The big V's, oh, there we go. It's color change. Now it's going to be easier for you guys to see. Um, the big V's are reserved for the big V's. The, the spaces in between the big V's is reserved for the little V's. Okay. Oops. Okay. Now I'm at the end of my row. This is my last big V. You're going to go beside that, go into the space, do your single crochet, chain one, and then go into your third space on that chain and go in and do your single crochet. Okay. Oh, beg your pardon. Nope. Take that one out. Go in, put your, your hook in, pull up your yarn. Now we're going to bring up, we're going to drop that yarn and we're going to bring up your other yarn. Okay. And you're going to pull that one through. Okay, now we're going to take the yarn that we were just working with. We're going to put, put that aside so it's out of our way. And then we're going to start using the yarn, the, the yarn that we began with. Okay, so we're going to chain three. Turn our work. Okay. And now we do our big V's again. Okay. Yarn over. Go into our big V, skip this whole row that we just did, go down to the, the big V row, go into our big V and do another big V. Okay. Go into the next big V, do another big V. And we're going to do that all the way across. Oh my goodness. Okay, go to the next V. Do a big V. Okay. And that's how it's going to look. Okay. And all you're going to be doing is you're going to be switching between your main color and your big, your um, accent color. Okay, you're going to be doing two rows of each. You're going to be doing the big V row and the little V row in each color. And you're going to do it, keep going, until you get it to the, oh, where, hang on, 
you're going to be doing it until you get it to the width that you want it. All right. So remember, this is the way it's going to be. Now you got to go to the width. That's your shoulder to shoulder. All right. Or if you want to actually, if you want to, you can do it underneath the arms from measure from under the arm to under the arm because it, the sweater is going to have to go around, around your back, right? To your sides. So make sure that your width is going to be from under your armpit to under your armpit. Okay. And you just keep going and doing this two row repeat and keep bringing your yarn up after each row or after each two rows. So you're going to do this, this row, and then you're going to do go back and you're going to do your little V row. And then when you're done that little V row, you're just going to bring, drop that yarn, bring this yarn up, pull it through and then do that color. Okay. And you're just going to keep on going until you get it to that width. When you do, um, then I will show you how to do the sides. Okay, now that you have the back done, hopefully you've um, measured it so that it's, oops, goes across from underneath your arms and it's wide enough. Now it's going to be kind of a repetitive thing. All right. So you're going to put this aside. Or, oops, sorry, knocking everything. <laughs> um, actually, you're not going to put this aside yet. You're going to figure out where the middle is on this. Okay, now what I usually do is I just measure, or I don't, I don't measure, I count how many V-stitch rows you've got. So one, two, three, four, five six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 22, 23, 24. So 25, 24, 25, 25. All right. So then you're going to figure out the middle. All right. So what was it now? Um, I don't count this last space. I only count the V stitches, right? So uh, let's count back. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, and then I've got one in between. So that one in between is your middle. All right, so this is going to be, you're going to put a stitch marker in there, uh, which I don't have. Oh, I don't have a stitch marker right now. But anyways, you're going to put a stitch marker in there. All right. Then what you're going to do is your side pieces. Okay, now you've got your middle. You figured out how many rows of um, V stitches you're going to have on each panel. All right. So then... You're going to do exactly the same thing that you did on the back. You're going to count. I had 102 stitches, right? Because we're doing it by length. We're not doing it by width right now. Okay, so we're doing however many stitches you had on your back panel to make the width or to make the length. That's how many you're going to do for your two side panels. Okay, so for me... I had 102, because remember we had to do it by evens, or by threes, I mean. So I chained 102, and then I started doing my back and forth again for the length until I get to the amount of V stitches that I needed to do the middle of your pa the panel, right? Oops, wrong way. Okay. So when you're, 
when you're doing your side panel, you're going to look and you're going to see how many V-stitch panels do you have and that should make up your side panel. Okay, and you're going to do that twice. You're going to do the two panels. Okay, and then once you're done your side panels, then you're going to do your sleeves. All right, and the sleeves are going to be exactly the same except the count. All right, oh, hold that thought. Sorry about that. I didn't have some stuff here. All right, so what you're going to do is when you get your two side panels finished, you're going to put the two side panels up against your back panel. You're going to put your stitch markers on to connect them. Okay. Remembering that that is your middle, okay, and you're going to put the side panel not on the middle one, you're going to put it on the one before because remember, there was the, the middle one was the extra piece or the extra row, <clears throat> okay? So, you're going to do that for both sides, then you're going to try it on. All right, you're just going to flip it over your shoulders there. And then you're going to figure out where, because it may end up being that the sides of this are going to go over your shoulders a little bit. It may or may not. Um, so you're going to figure out how much length you need for your sleeve. <clears throat> Okay, you're going to measure from, from wherever, it's a lot of weight to this here, <laughs> wherever this side lands on your arm, whether it's at your shoulder or down a little bit, you're going to measure from here down to your wrist area, probably to about that far down your wrist, not all the way down for about here. And you're going to figure out how much length you need for your arm. Okay. And then you're going to chain the amount that you're going to need. Okay. So say this piece is approximately 15 inches. It's actually probably more because it's not stretched out. So yeah, it's probably about 17-ish, 16, 17-ish. Oh, maybe a little bit more, 17 and a half. Because I know for me, about 19 inches is the length from my shoulder to my wrist. All right, so this will be good if you're going to be putting a cuff on your sleeve. Okay. So then you're going to figure out how many um, chains you need to achieve that length. Now, remember, it's going to grow a little bit. So keep that into consideration because otherwise your sleeve is going to be too long. All right. So I did 40 chains. Okay. And then you're going to start all over again the same way that you did. You're going to start at the beginning of your chain. You're going to count back five. You're going to start your double crochet. And then you're going to start your V-stitches in every third chain from the beginning. Okay. And then you're going to do your single crochet row or your single V-stitch row all the way across. Then you're going to attach your yarn, your secondary yarn again, chain up two, and then start doing your V-stitches in the big V-stitches. And you're going to do that again. And then you're going to figure out how wide you need it 
to go around your arm. Okay, you're going to do those to do two panels like that. One for each arm, obviously. Okay, so figure out your length. Give it about an inch and a half to two inches, just in case. And then figure out your width and how, and don't forget, try, try it when you've got something on, like if you've got a, a long sleeve shirt on or something and give yourself a little bit of ease, right? Cause you don't want it to be too tight. Okay. Figure out your, your width, do your width, do two panels. And then we'll come back and we'll start putting it together. Okay, this is not the perfect scenario here, but <laughs> we're going to make it work. <clears throat> All right, once you have your two sides attached to your back, you're going to put it face down so that the, <clears throat> the uh, actual wrong side is up, okay? So you've got your seams here. Then you're going to take your sleeve and make sure that your sleeve is the right, is the, you know, don't have it like this when it's supposed to be like this. <laughs> I've done that. <clears throat> so you're going to take your sleeve. You're going to find your middle. All right. So you're going to find your middle. And you're going to take your stitch markers and you're going to pin it to the seam of your of your uh, shoulder piece. Then you're going to pin it all the way down. Okay. And then you're going to do that for both sides. All right. Okay. So you're going to do that. <clears throat> Take your other one. Do the same thing. Okay. And then pin it. When you're finished that, then you're going to fold it. Uh, let me get this pinned and then I'll show you. Okay, slip stitch both sides of your arms on, then you're going to do this part. On each side, you're going to go and do your slip stitches all the way up the side, into the armpit, and all the way out. And then on this side, all the way up the side, into the armpit, and out. Then your whole sweater's together. Yay! And then you can go and start on your collar after that. That's the main part. This, once you get your arms tacked on, you're going to slip stitch your arms on. And then you're going to fold it. And then do the bottom and the arm. Bottom and the arm. Does that make sense? I hope that makes sense. Sorry, guys, this is the day before my surgery. My brain's not working very well. So I'm really hoping that that, <clears throat> that makes sense. <laughs> okay. And then after that, then we can go on to do the collar. Okay. So the sweaters all together. Now I'm going to tell you what I did. <laughs> that I don't want you to do, okay? <clears throat> and this is why I said, make sure that your panels are all properly in its place. I put these two side panels opposite. They aren't supposed to be like that. This one's backwards. And if you can tell the difference, by, whoops, sorry, in too far, by this. <clears throat> I ended on this row on this side and this row on this side. So these two sides don't match. Um, I was supposed to have flipped this side so that these two sides were the same. 
and I didn't do that. <laughs> oh, okay, but that's all right. We are going to persevere because I am not taking this whole thing apart. Because if I was going to, I would have to take my sleeves off. I would have to undo everything. I'm not about that. So moving on, <laughs> make sure that your two side panels have the same sides. <laughs> okay. <laughs> oh, which means that the, um, the V's should not be going together like this. They should be going opposite. To remember the greater than and less than? <laughs> yeah. <clears throat> so that's okay. I'm just moving on. I'm just moving on. All right. So now we are going to do the collar. All right. So now my collar, oops, I have that much for the neck. So what we're going to do is we're going to start on one side and we're going to go all the way around and then down the other side and then we're going to go all the way back and we're going to keep doing that in the U shape until you get it to the length or the width that you want it. Okay. Now you can do any kind of um, collar that you want to do, whatever stitch, excuse my bruise here. This part of the video was filmed after I went into the hospital. So sorry about that. <clears throat> Um, so yeah, you can do the front post, back post, you can do, uh, <clears throat> the other ribbing. Why don't we do that ribbing today? Um, I'm not too sure how that's going to turn out with this. I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to do a foundation of double crochets first. And then I'll start doing, because I screwed this up, I have to try and figure out how to fix this. Okay, so I think that's what I'm going to do, is I'm going to do, um, you don't have to do this, because hopefully you didn't do what I did. <laughs> if you did, then you can follow along. So anyway, I'm going to do that. I'm going to do a foundation of double crochets going all the way around. And then I'm going to start doing the collar, and I'll be back for that. Okay, so what I did was I did my button. I decided to put buttons on this. So I measured it all, or I uh, counted it all out, and I did 10 stitches in between the buttonholes, okay? So now what we're going to do is we're going to take, we're going to start off, we're going to figure out how wide we want our, um, collar okay I think I'm gonna do I'm gonna chain seven because I figure depending on the size button that you have you may need either uh, chain one space or chain two space you have to do a little bit to figure out um, what is gonna work best for you okay so I'll just show you how to start the start the collar and do the first buttonhole and then you can figure out if that buttonhole is going to be big enough or if it's too big or or whatever okay all right so you're at the bottom of your sweater now okay so you're going to figure out how wide you want it i'm going to do seven just to try it okay one two three five, six, seven. Okay. Now what you're going to do is you're going to go down, turn it, and you're going to go down, back down. You're going to do single crochets. Okay. One, and you should end up with five. Two, three, four, five whoops oh no on this this row you, you'll end up with six on the next row you should end up with five okay now what you're going to do is you're going to turn your work turn your whole sweater so that it's oh. oh what am i doing 
Okay, here. Oh, there's so much sweater to deal with here. <laughs> okay. So now here's your here's your sweater. So what you're gonna do is you're going to go into the next stitch on your sweater and you're going to slip stitch. Okay. Then you're going to turn your work and you're going to work back up the chain of your um, collar. Okay. So now you're going to work in the back, the back stitch, the back loop, not going through this way. You're going to turn it and you're going to go through the back loop. Okay. Going in the back. So two, three, four, five. And this last one is also a stitch. Six. Okay. So now you're going to have this little ridge right here. Okay, you're going to chain one, turn your work, now you're working back to, down towards your sweater, okay, in the back, you're, you're still working in the back, the back loop, one, two, Three, four, five, and six. Okay, now you're going to go into where your sweater is, into the next stitch on your sweater, right here. You're going to slip stitch. Okay, turn your work. And you're going to continue doing this until you get to your stitch marker in the back stitch. One, two, three, four, five, and six. Chain one. Turn your work, and you're going to go back down towards your sweater. One, two, three, oops. Four, five, and six. Now you're going to go onto your sweater, go to the next stitch, and slip stitch. Okay, so this is what you're going to have. All right, so this is the length, oops, this is the length of your sweater. And this is your collar. Okay. Now you're going to continue doing that. So now you got these nice little ridges. You're going to continue this all the way up until you get to your stitch marker. And once you're at your stitch marker, I'll show you what to do. Okay. So the collar is finished. Well, almost finished. I've got the whole thing done on... <clears throat> on both sides and what I did was when I got to the stitch marker on the button side all I did was I put the stitch marker in the middle of the um the two there's six stitches I put them on the, the two middle stitches just so it's in the 
now in the middle um, so that when it comes over and say this is the button oops the button comes through there it matches up nicely okay so that's all I did on that now you're gonna probably notice <coughs> that it kind of flares out a little bit like it has like a, a rounded um, edge to it now if you want to you could do um, like a crab stitch all the way around and it might level that out a little bit if it bothers you I might try it but if not you can just leave it the way it is then on the bottom I'm just going to finish off my bottom with um, like half double crochets or something along all along the bottom edge just to clean it up a little bit. Okay. And now you can <clears throat> put uh, just a single crochet around the arm just to clean it up if you want to. Or if you left a little bit of room and you want to do a cuff, you can do that as well. So depending on how you want your sleeve to look. Okay. And then you're finished. You're finished your sweater. You just have to put your buttons on. Ta-da! And then it's all done. Yay! Okay, so here is the sweater finished. Um, I did a couple of rows of um, half double crochets on the bottom just to finish it off. And then I did a couple of rows of front post, back post on the cuff. I haven't put in my buttons yet because I'm waiting for them to come. So, but it is finished, finished, finished. So I hope you like the video. I know it was a bit rough and I'm so sorry. It's not my usual tutorial videos, but you know. <laughs> um, so if you have any questions, leave a comment down below or email me at crochetaidcanada at gmail.com and I'll see if I can answer your questions. Something I also wanted to say is, on the arms when you're attaching the arms if you went up a couple sizes in your hook when you attach the arms um it might be better because on this one there's a little bit of a dip in here which is fine like when you're wearing it you won't really notice it but if that it's just because it's um makes it a little bit tighter in here so you might want to go up a couple a couple hook sizes um, you could do that on your, your cuffs and everything as well, but um, it's up to you. So there it is. So thanks for joining me, and I will talk to you in the next video. Okay, bye. <laughs>